What's up everybody, welcome to another video. Hope you're doing well. This is the second episode of the LG guide. Every week I'm making a new video about a different type of LG. Uh, last week we spoke about Blackbeard LG. Uh, I got a lot of good feedback from you guys. If you did not see that video, I'll leave a link on the top of the screen and in the description box below. Um, I also asked you guys in that video which type of LG you want me to cover next. Um, I saw a lot of blue-green LG, I saw staghorn LG, I saw hair LG. But I think the most requested was the brown LG. Uh, so that's what we're going to be talking about today. Um, I will explain in simple terms where this LG is coming from, how you can get rid of it, and I'm going to give you one, one tip of how you can avoid this LG altogether. Okay, so before we talk about how you can treat this LG, I think it's important to understand where this LG is coming from and why it's popping up inside our aquariums. Um, now 90% of the cases, brown LG is, is completely normal. Uh, you don't have to panic and think that you're doing something wrong. Brown LG in 90% of the cases is completely normal. And I always tell people that it's, it's just a phase, you know, a phase that you have to go through. It's, it's almost like, like when you hit puberty and you get a lot of pimples. It's, it's just a phase, it will go away by itself. But all jokes aside, uh, in 90% of the cases, brown algae just appears uh, because we have a new setup that does not have a lot of beneficial bacteria and does not have a lot of microorganisms. Um, I always get brown algae myself as well and I always find that it's somewhere, it pops up somewhere around the third or the fourth week of a new setup. That's when I start to see brown algae. Another reason why we have brown algae inside our aquarium is because of something called silicates. And to put it very simple, silicate is, is a mineral and brown algae feeds off of this mineral. So the next question is how do we get this silicate in our, in our aquarium? Um, because of three things. Uh, number one, through our tap water. Tap water can contain silicate. And the rocks that we use can contain some silicate. And decorative sand can contain silicates. Uh, this, this mineral is, is a um, resource for making glass and a lot of decorative sand that we use contains either glass or is made out of glass so it's another reason why we have silicates in our tank. Alright so now that we know where this brown algae is coming from, how do we get rid of it? Uh, basically there's three things that we can do here. Uh, like I said, brown algae is just a phase. Uh, so the first thing we can do is just wait, wait for that phase to pass. Uh, technically we could just do nothing and just uh, let nature run its course and it will go away by itself. But of course it doesn't look pretty and we want to get rid of it. So the second thing that we can do is we can actually clean it manually. Um, brown algae itself is not very stubborn and it easily comes up with a sponge or with a toothbrush. Um, and we can do this during our regular maintenance session. But it's one thing to, to clean your hardscape and to clean your glass. I mean, that's quite easy. Um, but cleaning your plants is, is a bit of a different story. And once brown algae starts to cover your plants, uh, they, the plants get less light and less nutrients and they will not grow as fast anymore. And it's something that we, want, of course, want to avoid. Now, I'm not a big fan of cleaning all this brown algae manually by myself. Uh, I'd rather let somebody else do it. Uh, so the third option that we have is to get ourselves a cleanup crew. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, this brown algae usually pops up somewhere around week 3, week 4 and by then our aquarium is ready for some livestock. Uh, so we can get ourselves a good cleanup crew. So there's plenty of uh, fish, shrimp, snails that like to eat brown algae and they're a lot better at cleaning the plants as well. So if you do a combination of step 2 and step 3, so you clean the hardscape and you clean the glass manually and then you let the uh, cleanup crew take care of the plants then you're just set up for success. I always find that if I add a few autosynclus catfish to a tank that has brown algae, the, the algae is gone within two days. So really, the best advice I can give you is, is just accept that it's a phase, uh, clean as much of it manually, and get yourself a few autosynclus. These are beautiful fish, they have a super cool character, they're very relaxed, and they will just make your life so much easier. Alright, so 90% of the times it's just a phase, but what if you are that 10% who just can't seem to get rid of this brown algae? Uh, or maybe you are just very unlucky and your tap water has a very high concentration of these silicates. I did some research and I found out that there's no rules to the, to the maximum amount of silicates that can be in our tap water. 
um, because this mineral is not harmful to our body and there can be an unlimited, unlimited amount of silicates in our tap water. So in the description I will leave some links to test kits with which you can measure the concentration of silicates in your tap water. Um, so if that's the case for you then you can buy special filtration media. Uh, this media will absorb the silicates in your water and should hopefully uh, solve your issues with brown algae. I'll leave the links to those that filter media in the description box as well. Uh, that's a very cheap option to, to get, rid, get rid of this brown algae. The little bit more expensive option will be to use reverse osmosis water. Uh, these RO units, they always have a silicate filter or an option to attach a silicate filter. So if you feel like this algae is not a phase and you really can't get rid of it, then those are the two options for you. Okay, so there's one more thing that I would like to talk about and that is what if you could completely avoid the brown algae phase? What if you could completely bypass it? Um, this is something for only for people who have some, some patience. It's still quite new in the, in the aquascaping hobby and not a lot, not a lot of people are, are talking about it. But it's something that's called the dark start. Um, so basically what this is, is you set your aquarium up as normal. You prepare your hardscape, you prepare your substrate, you fill it up, but you don't plant it yet. So you, you don't plant it yet and you don't add any light. Uh, but basically you will cycle your aquarium for three, four weeks in the dark. And this way the, the beneficial bacteria can start forming, the uh, microorganisms can start forming, uh, your, your filter can start cycling. And then after four weeks you drain your aquarium, you plant it, you fill it back up and then it's already been four weeks so you can instantly add your fish and your cleanup crew as well. And that way you're off to a very strong start with very very minimal uh, chance of getting brown algae. Alright, that's everything that I have for you on brown algae. Again guys, it's just a phase, don't panic, you're not doing anything wrong. Uh, just follow the tips that I gave you in this video and, and you'll get rid of it in no time at all. Uh, if you found this video helpful, click that like button, share this video with your friends, uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, bye.